Hey, what is going on guys? It's DK. Back at you with another video here to bring the two game NBA preseason slate on Tuesday. Before I get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is DK. I make daily videos and live stream for NBA and NFL slates on DraftKings. If you're unable to watch YouTube videos, I also upload on Apple Podcasts. Link in the description below. It's called the DK DFS Show. If you're interested in signing up for premium content, I'll find at patreon.com. A couple different packages also linked down below. And I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Prize Picks. So if you guys are, have been watching my videos, again, I'm sure you're familiar with the prospects, but if it's your first time watching, uh, for NBA, they do a preseason contest, and there's two different ways you can play. The first way is taking over under on fancy points, um, or you can go over to single stat and take over under on points, assists, rebounds. So um, yeah, if you guys want to try it out and sign up, use my code DKDFS, DKDFS, all one word, link down below, you get a 100% match up to $100. And I gave out a couple of picks today. One in the live stream, Mark Andrews over. Um, I would say that one hit. That went really well. Also, Mark Andrews and the captain for DraftKings worked. Um, and then I, I gave out uh, Jim Grant under, um, and that also hit. Now, looking at the board for tomorrow, I love Jordan Poole. I do. But starters for the Warriors have only been playing, you know, into the third quarter at best. They have him for 34 fancy points right now. I'm going to lean the under on Jordan Poole. Um, and then, yeah, we already know Fred Van Fleet is not playing. And the mitts for Toronto are really spread out. We'll get to that. Um, but, yeah, finally, um, thank you guys for continuing uh, coming out and watching each of these videos. If you could, leave a like button. Let's try to aim for 100 likes. Every like does help me out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you do know when I upload videos and go live. Okay, so uh, really quick, let's look back at my end up here from Monday slate. Monday, just forgettable one. Also a tilting one. A couple things to tilt about here. Jalen Green. Seven turnovers in 25 minutes. No, I'm not making that up. I'm not embellishing. He had seven turnovers. How, how is that possible in 25 minutes? Low owned PJ Washington, absolutely smashing in the first half. Severe foul trouble, plays like two minutes in the second half, fouls out. Um, and then finally, I get a low O Nurkic, who had a great first half. Sure enough, doesn't play the second half. So, again, a, a tilting night for sure for me. Um, yeah, Ja had a good game. KD was solid. He played the second half. Sengen was a valley I liked. Isaiah Joe uh, was a core for me uh, because he was going to play the point guard. They had, like, no other point guards, really, for Philadelphia. But, um, yeah, a few, a few tilting things there. P.J. foul trouble. Jalen Green, just the worst game of his career seven turnovers and Nurkic not playing the second half so uh forgettable night for myself for sure and uh yeah I definitely made a mistake not playing Lamella Ball like that I was looking at back of that I was like yeah that that was a mistake 100% um by me uh not playing Lamella Ball so um all right let's talk about this two gamer we'll start with Toronto so Toronto what we know is OG and Fred Van Fleet are not going to play in this game and we don't know maybe more players um, now, it was a little bit frustrating if you go look at the minutes, right? Because the minutes were so secure for the Raptors, the first three preseason games. And then they kind of just pulled the rug out on us, right? Um, you would have thought that since Fred Van Fleet and OG were resting tomorrow, that they would get normal minutes. Nope, they only played the first half. So if you play Fred or OG, I really do feel for you. That's tough luck. Um, Scotty Barnes is the only one that played significant minutes. He played 26. Everyone else really, really spread out the minutes. So. Um, again, no Fred, no OG. So Scotty Barnes at 8K, I do think is safe. I do think he plays mid to high 20s minutes. He'll be one of the high usage, usage guys, especially without uh, Fred and OG in the lineup. Uh, now the two centers, Ken Birch and Achua. So let's take a look at their minutes. Uh, Achua played 19 minutes. Ken Birch played 17. Um, you know, probably would lean to Achua. Also, he has power forward eligibility over Ken Birch. And then, yeah, Drogic sat out the game today, but he'll be back. Now my issue here is the main guys only played the first half. Uh, today, so like, does that mean Drogic's only going to play the first half? So that's a concern with the guy like Goran Drogic. A um, couple cheap guys I'll mention uh, Champagne at 5.2K. How many minutes did he play? He played 14 minutes. Didn't do, uh, I guess, it was only three points, two boards. He was a lot better in previous games. Normally, he's a guy that can stuff the stat sheet and do a little bit better. 
Um, and then Malachi Flynn at 4-4. So, again, no Fred uh, and no OG. Possibly more guys we'll see. Um, now, Flynn didn't play a ton. Uh, he played 17 minutes, but was solid 15-3-2. So a little bit interested in him there for value. I'm right, moving on to Washington. So Washington, last preseason game, played the start of decent minutes, low to mid-20s. Kuzma, 24. KCP, 20. Gafford, 22. I think he had five blocks uh, that game. Beal, 25. And uh, Spencer didn't when he played 22 minutes. Okay, sorry. I paused that because I went to go check on Bradley Beal news. I couldn't see any news of him resting, but he has the out tag. Um, so something to keep an eye on. I think he's playing. Again, I just tw- I just searched Twitter. I didn't find anything. Um, but yeah, last preseason game, he played mid-20s minutes. minute. So assuming he's in, I think he's one of the safer spin-ups on the board. Um, and then you have both centers, Montrez and Gafford, both are really solid point per minute guys. Uh, Gafford, a little bit more prone to foul trouble, but only 5.1K. And then Montrez, again, he had a really, really solid game last game at pretty low ownership. He had a double-double in 22 minutes. So I like both centers here for Washington. I think Dinwiddie is very safe at 5-5. He'll play the point guard. He'll play low to mid-20s Mets. He's uh, a guy that you know can stop the statute as well. Obviously, he'll handle the ball a decent amount. So main guys here for Washington, I like Beal, Dinwiddie, the two centers. Um, besides that, nothing I feel very confident in. Um, you have KCP, Kuzma, a little reliant on the scoring. Like Denny... How, Denny's playable, but again, got to hit a shot. So outside of the two guards and the two bigs, uh, nothing more than GBP plays. And finally, Golden State and the Lakers. So Golden State, um, last game, really spread out the minutes. He did have a couple guys play mid-20, Seth play 26, pull 25, Draymond 24. Now, I do want to mention, uh, Steve Kerr said, I think they have two games left preseason. He said uh, there's a chance he might rest uh, a couple veterans in, in the upcoming games. So keep an eye on Seth for sure, like obviously a Steph. Rest, dream on rest, or something like that. But assuming Steph plays and plays mid 20s minutes, he's one of the best bottoms of the board. Again, the amount of upside he brings on a night to night basis is insane. So, yeah, really do like Steph. Again, Jordan Poole, definitely in play. He's been having a great preseason, had another big game. Again, I do like the under on him, though, in prize picks at 34 and a half. I think that's a little bit high if we're expecting like only 25 minutes. Like, I don't think Jordan Poole is going to average 1.5 fancy points a minute, right? So, um, as much as I love Jordan Poole, uh, again, that's why I like the under pies picks. On DraftKings, um, he's fine. I would rather get up to Steph Curry for a little bit more, but Poole still viable. Um, Wiggins expected to be back. He should move in the starting lineup. Eh, you guys know my feelings on Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins. Um, Dream out of 5-4, playable. Again, he's a guy that can do it all, obviously. Uh, he went for 2, 6, and 7 last game. A guy that can get some blocks and steals too. So I think a safer value play. A um, couple of guys I'll mention off the bench, Otto, Bielitsa, Juan Toscan, and Anderson. Again, they've really been spreading out the Mets, but I expect high teens for those three those three guys. I think they're all three viable. Like Otto started last game, went for 9-6. and six. Bielitsa went for 7-2-1-18, and, and, and JTA uh, went for 6-4-2. and two. So I think those three uh, plays off the bench are, are viable. Um, what I go to a guy, Kavan Looney at 4-5. I guess you can, but like Looney is just a lower usage big, which is kind of weird to say. All right, moving on to the Lakers. So last preseason game, LeBron sat. You did have AD and Westbrook play in the second half, which is good to see 28 for AD, 26 for Westbrook. Um, and then really besides that, they really spread out the minutes. A couple injuries to go over. Um, again, they have LeBron listed as out. I expect him to be in for this one. Monk's out, Nunn out, and THT are out. So We'll see if the big three are going to play in this one together. Um, if they do, then, you know, point per dollar, uh, you probably go AD, LeBron, Westbrook. Again, Westbrook has not been great. Now, um, that should lower the ownership. Like, Westbrook, he's been awful. He's not been good the first two preseason games. But we still know that Russell Westbrook can put up big fancy points in a short amount of time. So, I have interest in the big three for the Lakers. We will see what they do, and we have yet to see them play together. You would assume they would want to get a little bit of game action together, right? So um, keep an eye on the big three for the Lakers. If for some reason they like rest a lot of the guys, then we're going to want to look to some value here for the Lakers. Probably both bigs and, and Dwight Howard and, and uh, DeAndre Jordan will look good. Um, you know, I wonder who would start at the point guard if Westbrook and LeBron are both out with none in THT out too. Like, would Rondo start? Probably, right? And then, yeah, then they would be, like, pretty thin. Uh, so maybe, like, Rondo, Biggs, Bazemore. But um, I do expect at least a couple of the big three, maybe all three of the big three to play tomorrow. So that'll be one uh, to, to keep an eye on for sure. But, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the video. So if you have been enjoying the content, would really appreciate it. You can hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. Thanks again, guys. Have a great night, and I will see you all in the next video.